Howdy folks, welcome back to the Nakamon Arc. Today we're going to League 26 over 50 state series. So we have crossed over the halfway point in our 50 state series where we take off and land at each of the 50 states of the United States with a few other flights mixed in in between. Check out our default aircraft today. It's the Aerial Light 103. You fly it, trike. And we're going to do a short one today. We're going to fly over Mark Twain Lake starting at Samuel Clemens Memorial Airport, which is Mike Uniform 00. Flying a couple miles to Wood Acres Airport in Rells County, which is 7 Mike 0, not 0, 7 Mike Oscar 1. And um, we're just going to have a cute little flight. I turned off wind again because flying this thing in the wind is kind of ridiculous. So we're just going to have a little sightseeing trip, a little quickie over the lake in Missouri. If you know where it is, hope you enjoy it. If you don't know where it is, hopefully we all get to enjoy it together and my camera stopped moving. So let's just quit playing games and zoom in quickly, I think. That did not work the way I planned. It seldom does. But this aircraft is beautiful. I really want somebody to come up with some alternate liveries for this thing. I guess I could try myself. I guess? I don't know. I, I've only done one livery and it was okay. It wasn't great. But maybe I can have a shot at this one. Why not? I should think that about that right now. Anyway, I'm flying again today. Mixing it up with some Minecraft videos, which is on another channel, which I'm not even going to bother with on this one because the Flight Simulator audience and Minecraft audience are completely different audiences. However, I've been enjoying both. So here we go. Not much else to say about this. Completely visual flight. We'll rely on the map to get us there. That'll be like an iPad on our laps or we would just know the area in real life. I don't know the area at all, so we're going to use the map. And I finally found the switch to turn on fuel, which I'll talk about in a moment. So that being said, in case you're wondering what time it is, it's sunrise. 8.30 a.m. or something. Alrighty, so let's hop inside. Let's get this thing started. First thing we have to do is hop back here, and here's our little switch. See that? Isn't that cute? Somebody told me it was there, and I'm just now getting around to looking for it. They told me like many, many months ago. Alright, so let's see. Flaps are up. Megs on. Key switch start. Should be all there's two, because their primer's not... Yeah, their primer's not modeled. So there we go, we're up and running. See how easy that was? First set of flaps so we can take off, I guess. Well, there are two in this one. There's okay, so let's bring it up one. Yes, Jai will drift, I understand. I understand, okay. That's it, hop inside. Let's get our location, you, it says. All right, we are going where? Across the lake to zero. I'm sorry, geez, I keep, I'm trying to look at my notes. Are we too far away? Seven, Mike Oscar one which is across the lake, right there, super short. So we're just going to turn right and look for an airport land. It's only take a couple minutes. We're not going to straight line, I don't think. We'll follow the water a little bit. We're not going to fly too high. Weather's turned off. I added the clouds manually. Otherwise, that's it. Let's get going. Three minutes into this thing, or less. Parking brake off. Th throttle forward. A little bit of right rudder, apparently. And leaning back in our seats. And here's the live. Okay, it's going to take off itself. Bring in those flaps. And this is a lot harder to fly than I remember. Why? Anyway, before we turn right, though, I want to check out the tree lines and farm add on. That's what you're looking at with all those farms. And I see water already, folks. That would be our Mark Twain Lake. Samuel Clemens. And it looks like the airplane knows where it wants to go and it's going to turn all on its own without me having to do anything. Very nice. There you go. Simple as that. Very quick one for you. I was going to do Branson, Missouri. But I didn't. I just decided to just pick Mark Twain Lake. I was in the mood for water when I planned these flights. So, I don't have any stories. Well, oh, let's use our brakes to stop those wheels from spinning. I don't have any stories about Missouri. And I, we haven't had story time in quite a while. I know that some of you are here for the stories. You're not even here for the flight sim. I don't have any stories right now. I apologize. So, we're just going to try to ramble through this short flight, check out this water. I do like how this lake is a bunch of lakes. So here in Minnesota, outside of Minneapolis, we have Lake Minnetonka, which is a bunch of bays. There's no, like, main part of the lake. It's just hundreds of bays that make up a gigantic lake. This lake looks like it's a whole bunch of arms that make up a gigantic lake. So that is really cool. I'm very pleased that I chose this area to fly. I'm going to take some screenshots here. 
we go get a couple screenshots, spin around, look behind us. I don't think there's much to see behind us yet except on cloud shadows. Oh, somebody, I know it was a while ago, somebody asked why the ground is so dark. It's because my cloud shadows are really dark. Because if you're in a real plane and you look at cloud shadows on the ground, they're really dark. They're even much darker than this. But I compromised. Anyway, let's see. Let's hop inside here and get control of this thing because it's really difficult to fly. We'll just keep throttles full forward. Let's hop into the map and look at yeah we're going right where we want to we're just gonna go like this follow the water around we'll level off here in a minute what is your altitude i can't see our altitude that's our vertical hmm oh that's altimeter right in front of my face there's your vertical up there all right two thousand two four six eight no that's ones those are hundreds so that's twenty three hundred okay we'll level off not much more than 500, not much more than 2,500 feet. And we'll have a look around in the nice sunrise. Tree lights and farms, which I assume in real life those are probably resorts, I would think. All right, we're in about 2,500. I'm going to level off a little bit. Flaps are in. Yes, everything good. Okay, not much to do here. So anyway, what I was going to say, some behind-the-scenes stuff, just because I don't have story time, but I do have behind-the-scenes. And I want us to see this lake as much as possible without cuts. So behind-the-scenes, I've been recording way ahead which some of you might not want to know how far ahead I recorded this video because I might ruin the magic a little bit. But in case you want to know, so spoiler alert, cover your ears for 20 seconds. If you don't want to know, today I'm recording this July 16th. And I think you're watching this like August 20 something. So for some reason, I'm a month and a half ahead on videos, which is fine. I record like two or three at a time in a space of about three or four days. That gives me time to edit, and I can go on vacation without a break in content, and I can do some other things like my Minecraft recording, which, at the time of this recording, Minecraft 1.13 is not released, so I'm actually not recording Minecraft. But by the time you watch this, I will have recorded a bunch of Minecraft for my YouTube channel. If you want to know what that is, I can tell you, but um, I can't imagine the same audience would like both. But I am recording on a server with a, the first celebrity minecrafter so i'm having a lot of fun again i'm speaking in the future i haven't started recording at the time of this recording but i've been recording for a month and a half by the time you watch it so i'm quite sure i'm having a lot of fun those videos are very different to record because sometimes it takes us 20 minutes or half an hour to get going in one of the flight sim videos but in a minecraft video 20 minutes to half an hour you're wrapping things up so quite different and um, a different style of gaming too. Flight Sim is a simulator. Try to take it as seriously as possible. Something like Minecraft. Again, is what you make of it, which is why I like Minecraft. You can take it very seriously. And you can do a lot of math and science. Or you can just run around and kill each other if that's what people want to do. Obviously, I prefer the former instead of the latter. Um, but it's fun. It's very tranquil. Minecraft. You get in the zone, the rhythmic sounds, and then you get blown up by a creeper and get frustrated and lose all your stuff. So that's Minecraft for you in a nutshell. But um, we're flight simming right now. That's what we're going to keep doing. Let's hop outside and stay below these clouds. I assume I got way above my 2,500, didn't I? Not terribly above, 2,800, okay. Um, because I was rambling. But otherwise, I really enjoy this aircraft. I think I might. I might see if I can figure out how the paint kit works on this, if there is one make my own livery. I don't know. It's going to be terrible, but I'll try. Well, guys, this is quite an awesome, awesome lake. I love this. It's very much a bunch of legs all strung together. That is really, really cool. Let me take some more screenshots here. Otherwise, have a quick look around. More legs going out that way. More legs going out this way. Let's hop inside and pull up our map and see how far off we are. Oh, not very far off at all. But for the interest of time, let's turn towards your airport. We're pretty much going the route I meant to. So anyway, like I said, no stories. I just want to share a little bit of behind the scenes with the recording and having two YouTube channels. This YouTube channel, at the time of this recording, I'm picking up between 10 and 15 subscribers a day. I can't speak for what I'm at at the time you watch this, but I must have gotten a mention somewhere or something because I'm getting a lot of subs, which is awesome. And a lot of feedback from you all, which is awesome. My Minecraft channel, the only people who watch it are my friends on the server at the time of this recording. We'll see. I'm not doing it for the attention. I'm doing it because I like Minecraft and it's lonely to Minecraft alone. 
I do Flight Simulator to learn about airplanes since I'll probably never fly one in real life and I'm sharing it with you. So, like I said, management of two YouTube channels, completely different content, completely different purpose for the channels, a completely different interaction and social part, which is very interesting and that's why I'm not combining them. I'm looking at that highway down there going cutting across the lake. That's pretty cool. And um, going into the sunrise. And that's about it. So I'm just going to keep flying. I'm going to be quiet for a little bit so you can enjoy the scenery without my voice. Given I don't have an actual story to tell you. But I'm going to keep up this map up so I know where we're going. Hey, look at this. See? We're not even in the right spot. I'm going to keep the map up a little bit. Get some sightseeing for y'all. And I'll catch you in a moment. Alright, it is time to look for an airport. Somewhere around here, there is an airport. Because the map says so. Is it that right there? No, that doesn't look like an airport. That's just a big field. So we're bringing back throttles to come down, and we have to point down. So normally you bring back throttles to descend and use pitch for speed, but in this thing it's a combination of both. If you just bring back throttles, you'll just stay level and crash, or then you'll stall. So we're going to point down while we bring back throttles for a combination of both. Oh, that's the airport right in front of us, I think. I think we're looking right at it now. Maybe we realize it. Nope. Where is this airport? Let's pull up our map. And it's a little bit to the left. Well, maybe that is the airport, that big space. That would make sense. Is that... I can't tell when I'm turning what's going on. Hmm. Yes, that is the airport, because look at us cruising right along. Wow, that's what happens if you don't know the area. You can see how easy it is to get lost. But when you do know the area, things seem super obvious, right? So on the map, I was thinking it was this water up here, when really it's this water below us, which we're about to cross. If you look at our map, then we are. So this area here is our runway. I don't, there it is. Now it came into view. Maybe it just didn't render yet. But there it is. It's very obvious now. It's also obvious we're way too high. So let's do a little bit of curving around. Here we go. We are going to bring back throttles and point down. And we'll go right over this forest. And we'll do a very wide downwind leg just to lose a bunch of speed. Because we're 1,700 feet up. I'm not sure what the airport elevation is. I guess we could click on it and find out. 720. So there we go. Let's just... um. Say about 500 above, which would be about 12 or so. Let's not do flaps or no lights or anything. Let's just enjoy the lake from 1,500 feet above sea level. There's the airport back there. Yes, I'm terrible at landing this thing. It seems like the smaller the plane, the worse I am at landing. But we'll manage. Let's get our speed up, though, because it's going to take us forever. So I'm using throttle for speed in this case, which is not normally what you do. But I am, and I'm keeping the nose pointed down slightly so we start coming down because we're still at 1,200 feet. We're still about 500 feet above ground level. Doesn't seem like it though. There's a runway back there. I see it. Alright, let's swing in towards our runway now. I'll be done with the sightseeing. You all know how that goes when I sightsee while I fly. It does not work. 
Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can land this. And the reason why I have a very difficult time landing small planes is because the lack of peripheral vision. I can never tell how high I am. So I'm always way, way, way higher than I think, which causes a lot of problems. So here we go. Let's get our first set of flaps down and point that thing down. And I'm having a really hard time. The last video a couple days ago, if you remember, I had a really, really, really hard time with having a smooth approach. I was just all over. I wonder if my yoke is running out. I can't imagine that'd be the case, but I do fly a lot, and I have had it for several years, and it wasn't very expensive. So maybe it's just wearing out. Yeah, let's keep our throttles going, second set of flaps. Man, I'm in a really hard time with this thing. Oh well, we'll do the best we can. Here we go. We are going to try to land somewhat smoothly and not stall. Okay, it's doing whatever it wants. And we might stall, let's not stall. There we go. Land on the back wheels, it's a trike, not a tail dragger. And put it down. There we go. Oh my gosh, actually landed smoothly and I did not smash the front. Wow, good, flaps coming in. All right, awesome. Let's just let it slow down here, put some brakes on. Go off to the side and get out of the way. Can't believe it, I actually landed smoothly. I am impressed with myself. I know I shouldn't be. I should be able to. I should be able to land a small trike, just fine. But you'd be surprised how bad it can be sometimes. All right, here we go. Let's just stop right here, set the parking brake, and hop up here, and I guess turn off the mags and the master switch, and hop back here and turn off a little fuel thing. Hop up top. There we go. Very 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 quick flight today. Even with editing, we we're under. 15 or 20 minutes or so so missouri mark twain lake what a beautiful beautiful lake i've been in real life it's just astounding i know you say that in every video but hey i don't get out much the flight simulator is as much travel as i get to do in fact you want to hear a really sad story my wife and i are supposed to go to mexico like the week you're watching this but my co-worker quit and we had to cancel our mexico trip because i can't close on the department and it was gonna be our first vacation without kids in 10 years that was supposed to happen as you're watching this. A bummer, huh? But don't worry, work is taking care of me, and we will go to Mexico sometime, and I'm sure I'll talk about it. There'll be lots of story time, but no more stories right now. I think we're going to Europe next for a flight to break away from the 50 states a little bit. So, Europe it is. Do I have any stories about Europe? I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyway, if you found me by accident, please like, please subscribe for our regular subscriber. Thank you for your continuing support, and I'll catch you over the pond.